Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to connect up a Xbox 360 or a Xbox One controller to your Windows machine so you can use it on the CXBX Reloaded emulator. So use an Xbox 360 or an Xbox One controller for your original Xbox emulator. There's two main ways of doing this, either wired or wireless. Let me quickly cover the wired route first. So either if you have a wired Xbox 360 controller like one of these where the actual wire itself is hard you know it's in there you can't actually detach it without obviously breaking the controller that is plug and play you literally so if I go to game set up USB game controllers if you plug it in it will appear here or if you have a wired Xbox one controller Again, the same principle applies, then you can just plug and play. If you have a wireless, so if I just type in Xbox 360, uh, actually before I do this, if, if you have a Xbox, yeah, Xbox 360 controller, wireless, you can't use one of the play and charge kits which it looks like these to plug it in because that literally only provides power it does not provide data so I learned that many years ago that you can't do that so if you have a wireless controller then the only way to do it is to use a what are they called controller sync to PC but there's like a particular device so it's, it's one of these but it's, it's gone out of my head what they're actually called uh, wireless receiver so Xbox 360 wireless receiver you will want to get something like this one of these controller wireless receivers there are unofficial ones I haven't tried them I've tried the official ones they work fine that is a okay so I will be showing you how to do this with the Xbox One. The process is similar. So that is a sync button. So if you have an Xbox One controller, so I've got two Xbox One controllers right here. I have this one, this is day one edition, so from 2013. And this is Project Scorpio, so when the Xbox One X came out, when was that, Isn't that 2017? So whenever, whenever that was, so these are two different types of controllers the main difference that we're interested in is the older one has proprietary wireless technology and this has regular bluetooth so if you have a newer controller if you bought it with the one s or the one x or the last few years then you'll probably have one of these and you can just connect this via bluetooth you you know you're all good to go you, but if you have one of these the only way that you can connect it is using a similar style of dongle so you want to go to wireless adapter one of these something like this and there's a button right there and I've got one right here and there's a button right there so first of all I'll show you how to connect it via wire so, uh, so that's the other thing if you have a wireless controller you can also just plug in a micro USB cable and you'll act as if it's a hard wider controller Unfortunately, with the 360, if you have a wireless one, the only way of doing it is via wireless. So with the Xbox One, whether it's the old or the new controller, you have the wired route, which is plug and play, or the wireless route, which is either Bluetooth for the new ones or the proprietary dongle for the old ones. And you can actually use the dongle still with the new ones as well. So if you don't have Bluetooth and you have one of these, you know, that's, still, that's still okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do is show you the wired route. So if I open this up, I've got a little USB extension cable, plug that in. And if I plug this in like so, my controller vibrated. There we go, De detected it. Go to properties, it's detecting when I'm pressing all the buttons. So you can actually skip to the CXBX reloaded part and actually start connecting it. If you don't want to go down this route, 
and you want to go down the wireless route, like I said, you have one of two options. You either can use an old controller and use one of these dongles, place in like so. Keep this button pressed here until you see this light flash. It's like two seconds. And then turn the control Xbox controller on and put it into sync mode. There you go, it's into sync mode. And it has synced and it will appear in the game controller section as well. Should do any more. There we go. And again, same process if I go to properties wired and it is all working i am going to just turn this off by keeping the this button pressed that's how you turn the controller off yeah ignore that that's only appearing so i forgot to close this window so i'm going to get rid of this and show you the other final option which is to use bluetooth so this controller is still on trying to find something i will turn this off like i'll do that instead and if you want to connect it via Bluetooth, you want to go to Bluetooth. And as usual, this video is not condoning piracy. It is for educational purposes, all that good stuff. Go to add Bluetooth for device. Yeah, there we go. And to put this in sync mode, again, just turn the controller on, press, keep this pressed till it starts flashing rapidly. It is in sync mode, go to Bluetooth, you appear here, it should do, I think. Input, click that. As you can see, it has been detected. It's in here now as well. Bluetooth X input compatible input device, slightly named differently, that don't matter. Go to properties and again, principle is the same. It is connected. So use one of those connection methods. That's quite a bit of information. I wanted to cover all bases for Xbox controllers. If you have any questions, just pop me a message and I'll help you along. And yeah, we can actually just start, you know, mapping the controls now. So open up CXPX. If you've already got it launched, great. Go to settings, config, input, and maybe for a Duke, an S, or you know, port 2, 3, or 4, that don't matter. Go to config. And you want to go to the drop down, select X input game cat pad. That is the one you want. And I've already got it done right here. So I will actually delete that profile and I will remap it. So I will do A, so just click it, then press the button on your controller. You can rearrange the controls as well to make it easier for you. And there we go. I will use the triggers R L R B and L L B as black and white back button I'll use like this one here okay so the left stick now okay so now the right stick and now the d-pad there we go there's the d-pad up, down, where am I looking at left? Yeah, east, yeah, no, east, right, east. That's the way I always remember, left, trigger, right, trigger, and we're done. And I can save this, type in Xbox One controller. I recommend saving it so you don't have to keep redoing it. And save, there we go. If I go back to configure, so already here if, if i create more profiles they'll be there and i can easily you know choose them and if the controller doesn't appear just you know click refresh and select it and now if we go to x that's it it's all configured i can now open up a game i can ignore that and just start it as i normally would i'm gonna turn the volume down it's not too loud i've just turned it off actually and obviously it's on the assumption that you've already set up the cxpx reloaded emulator if you haven't i will provide a link in the description to the xbox the cxpx reloaded playlist so i'm just gonna skip it and yeah you saw that skip it with the a button 
and you'll see where's he going? I can go up and down and I can select stuff as well like so so that is it that is how you that is how you connect up a Xbox controller so that's Xbox 360 wired or wireless for wireless remember you will need one of those receivers they are quite a bit cheaper now than they used to be for Xbox one you can either just plug a micro usb cable in with anyone or just use a wired controller or use a wireless controller and either with the old ones you want to use wireless receivers again they're not the cheapest but they're not too bad either or if you have a newer controller you can just use bluetooth so obviously assuming you've got bluetooth on your computer with that as well just a cheap bluetooth dongle will do that's why i use like a cheap one off amazon or ebay i can't remember i think it might be on ebay it's an amazon in the previous video i think it might be on ebay one of the two and that is it. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.